Hello and welcome to Mind Rules. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Also, you can hit me up on Instagram. The link will be on the screen. The question being asked is Theodore Johnson, one of the UK's most notorious serial killers. Mr. Johnson murdered three women over four decades. All of these ladies were his former partners. Mr. Johnson is Jamaican born and moved to the UK in 1980 with his wife Yvonne. Shortly after securing his first job on British soil, he committed his first murder. Mr. Johnson was no stranger to the prison system. He was in and out of prison for multiple offences. The sister of Mr. Jackson's latest victim said she was extremely angry. She wasn't protected from him. Violent Johnson, aged 61, beat 51-year-old Angela Best with a claw hammer at his North London home after she ended their 20-year relationship and met another man. In 1981, Mr. Johnson was found guilty of manslaughter for killing his wife, Yvonne Johnson, by pushing her off the ninth-floor balcony of their home in Wolverhampton. He was cleared of murder but convicted of manslaughter by provocation. Then in 1993, a couple of years before meeting Miss Best, he was convicted of strangling his common-law wife Yvonne Bennett with a belt at their home in London before trying to hang himself. The prosecution accepted his responsibility was diminished due to depression and a personality disorder. He was handed in a hospital order with restrictions at the Old Bailey. In September 1994, Mr Johnson was allowed out of a psychiatric unit but he had to be escorted. In mid-1995, he was given unescorted leave to spend two days a week at a city and guilds course on furniture restoration. It was there in 1996 Mr Johnson met Miss Best. Miss Best, mother of four and grandmother, only found out Mr Johnson had killed before when she came across letters at his home and confronted him. In 2018, Mr Johnson was jailed for life at the Old Bailey and ordered to serve at least 26 years for Miss Best's murder. But three senior judges later ruled that the sentence was lenient and increased his tariff to 30 years. My thoughts and prayers goes out to everyone who lost their loved ones at the hands of Mr Johnson. Most major newspapers are labelling Mr Johnson as the UK's most notorious serial killer. I would love to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Do you think Mr Johnson is the UK's most notorious serial killer? And like always, I hope to see you in my next video.